Okay, welcome back to another 1001 beers you must try before you die. Uh, back again with my um, uh, beer drinking companion, uh, who who is now a regular appearance on this particular uh, YouTube channel, which no one watches. Um, <laughs> We have got we have got a number of beers. I think every beer bar one you have sourced. I have, which yeah. Is very exciting. Um, the first one we're starting off. You sourced the beer shop in Worcester in England. Yep. Um, but it is a German beer. Uh, it's first brewed in 1979. It is 5.1 in the book. Is it still 5.1 on in the bottle? Uh, I can't entirely uh, say. There yes. we go. 5.1. Yes, and it is Pincus Special. Uh, which is an interesting name. Uh, it is a lager beer. Um, it, I, I mean, we'll talk about the bottle in a minute because it's quite interesting and it's exactly the same as in the book. It, it clearly is a... That's a rarity. Yeah. So, uh, right, crack it open. That's, um, I'll read the tasting notes while you crack it open. Uh, a golden, slightly opalescent lager beer. Opalescent. 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 Opal opalescent. I don't even know what that means. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's something to do with the, the appearance, I think. With fine white foam atop, Ooh. the nose offers rather sweet, de uh, decent, flowery and citrusy aromas. On the palate, there's a smooth mouthfeel, mild flavours of floral and vanilla-like notes, and a moderate bitterness with a semi-dry finish. I mean, I'm always um, sceptical of flowery descriptions about lagers, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's some there's some things we'd like to we oh it's charged oh wow 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 sorry Tanya yours was uh I've left a bit in the bottom once I noticed there we go to go uh we we have a third silent drinking partner silent Bob off screen yeah that's right yeah uh okay well um it, we didn't get the charge bit someone else did never mind sorry um. That was our fault for not looking at the bottle. No, but there's no way to really tell with the I didn't, I didn't, I didn't no. think, I didn't think with a German lager. Oh, hang on, Unger un filter. It's, un it's unfiltered. Yes, it's unfiltered. Oh, well, uh, right, me. should we talk about the um, the beer first? Uh, the the beer the, bottle. The bottle. It's very nice. Yeah, I mean, it's it's clearly got a picture of like some sort of German beer hall in it. I think, or is it a brewery? No, it's a beer hall. I think it's a beer hall. Yeah, like a puppy yeah. brewery hall thing. That's clearly the the brewery is uh, dates back to the year eighteen. 16 so it's like a kind of like old school stuff and then interestingly which was the thing i was going to bring out you see it also says on it bioland and it's got these things it uses okay. um oh what the green dude yeah the so back. this was the the first beer um in the world to be brewed with all organic malts mm. so it's a so this i think that's probably why it's in the book um uh, that would make sense yes this is from munster in Munster. uh yeah monster 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 uh in uh That's very cool I in, think. in germany uh and yeah uh, there's some other things to talk about so should we go for the smell and then we'll yeah, talk about it more Gra so definitely grassy yeah. very very grassy sweet yeah should we go for the taste yeah though? let's do it uh prost Quite sweet, quite nice. It's, it, mm. The sweetness is balanced quite well with a little bit of bitterness. Mm. Um, I'm not sure I'd want a pint of it, but it, it's quite nice in, in a small amount. Um, I think it's yeah, it's perfectly pleasant. It's I think quite pleasant. It's, yeah. it's yeah, I think the sweetness would probably be a little bit too much for me over more than a bottle, but it's it's rather nice. Quite dry, mm. quite dry tasting. Um, so, like you know, I think the grass, I think the bitterness and dryness actually is more. Uh, more prevalent character in the in the beer but yeah this um it was uh yeah the first beer to be brewed with all organic malts um <clears throat> back in the 70s which is unusual i'd say actually for a, a beer to be brewed that for them to go down the organic route in mm. 79 um and then oh this is good so in 1982 um uh they then uh, changed to all organic hops. So the brewery's production, and then basically by 1991, yeah, yeah. the entire brewery production is all organic. So every beer they do is organic, which is that's unusual actually. That's quite that's quite, uh, and that's a little kind of like a shtick for them, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, they can say, well, we're an organic uh, uh, brewery, which is interesting. But very early, very. Early, I mean, that's far before organic became a popular thing. That's really quite unusual. So I guess they were kind of ahead of their time a bit in in that in that trajectory um 
So it does say the beer's flavour does change depending on the state of the natural hops. Um, so I, I guess there's some variance in flavour from mm -hmm. one batch to another because they're using organic. So they, they haven't, with organic, you might not get that same conformity. But it's quite pleasant. Yeah, perfectly pleasant. It's a nice, it's a baking day. Uh, we're, in our, we're in the basement at the moment, so it's really yeah. cool, but it's an um, absolute oven outside. So it's not a bad day to try one of these. It's a pleasant starter. Yeah. I think we, I'm glad we went for this one first. Um, it's also got uh, its own pub um, in Munster, which is called the Alt Beer Kush, which is the Alt Beer Kitchen. So they obviously, I think we've had Alt Beers before, which is a yeah. particular German style. Uh, they do a lot of those as well. This is obviously a lager beer. Um, and it's a family operation, so still run by the original family. And uh, with the daughter now running it from the original father who started out which was uh it does say the name of the person but uh uh oh i don't think i can find uh, it that's yeah, organic beer really frau hans his name is hans it's hans muller hans muller is his name not quite sure not quite sure where this pinkus word came from there's nothing about pinkus uh maybe it means something in uh, german named after barry mandela i don't get that his real name is, uh, I believe, Alan Pincus. Oh, Barry La Barry Manilow facts for you there, folks. And it does it does look, you know, it's got Barry Manilow cover vibes. I think that sort of top part there. Yeah. Oh well. Mm. Well, I think that's a good starter. Uh, I think we'll go away and enjoy the rest of this, um, and then we'll see you another for another beer review uh, very very soon. Mm, yeah, in the Bermuda Triangle. Cheerio.